So the question is, the product of two numbers is constant. If one number is increased by 50 percent, the other number should be decreased by what percentage? It's a very, very simple question on quantity aptitude and percentages. Now what it says is, there are two numbers, the product is constant. If one is increased by 50 percent, the other number should be increased by, decreased by what percentage? The other number should be decreased by what percentage? So whenever you get questions like this, see whenever it is a percentage problem, when the values are not given, you can take the base value as 100. So what I'll take is first number as 100. I'll take the first number as 100. I'll take the first number as 100. Now, this has to be increased by 50%. The advantage of 100 is I'll increase, whenever it is 100, if I say 50% is going to be only 50, so I'll increase this by 50%. Now, don't <coughs> search for a second number. Don't search for a second number. So bring the second number here, 150. This is the advantage. So what happens is, this product has to be constant. The product has to be constant. My first number is 100. I increase it to 50%. The second number becomes 150. I want to treat the second number as 150. Now, this because the product is constant, this 100 has to come here. This 100 has to come here. Now what is happening is, now the product will be constant. This 150 is getting reduced to 100. 150 is getting reduced to 100. I will already reduce by 50. So percentage is, for 150, it is getting reduced by 150 means, for 100, how much? It will be 33.33%. The answer is 33.33%. The other way of doing it is, you are, usually are used to variables, x and y. So x is to y, this product is xy. Now this has to be constant, this has to be constant. What is the first number has increased by 50 percent means? It will become x plus 50 by 100 of x will be equal to 150 by 100 of x or 3 by 2 of x. Now this 3 by 2 of x, now what happens is into y, y is definitely there, but I will have to get only xy means this 2 by 3 has to, 3 by 2 has to get cancelled, so automatically it has to be 2 by 3 of y. So what is happening is, the y is getting reduced to 2 by 3 of y means 1 by 3 of y is getting reduced. y minus 2 by 3 of y, the reduction will be 1 by 3 of y. Why am I doing this? 2 will get cancelled, 3 will get cancelled. So this has to be 2 by 3 of y. So 1 by 3 of y is the reduction. Divided by y into 100 will be 33.33%. The answer is 33 Either way I can do it, which is a very, very simple one. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then.